Must have been done by some official's lazy ass cousin. It invites you to listen. Presumably another objet d'art. Someone's at least gone to the trouble of chaining it to the fence. Looks like a spot for cigarette butts. So it's found favor with the mass holes already. Maybe it's some kind of... Oh yes, it's a clever bench. I get it. They're supposed to sit on this thing. God, I'm a curmudgeon. <laughs> you know it's another art putz who got paid stupid amounts of money for a concept. It's a different kind of graft, art graft. This is graciously provided by Procter and Gamble Gillette. Now that it looks like some of the information was iced out. It's a public dock. You can launch a boat here if you're ambitious. Pull up. 
and enjoy the amenities of this fabulous industrial zone. You can even fall into the drink drunk and drown. <laughs> Tide will probably wash you that way. With any luck, they'll find your carcass over by Harbor Island somewhere. We've entered a shadow zone, and this is where Harbor Walk enters a building. This must be the designated viewing area for that art thing by someone named Don Eilis. No doubt a properly credentialed artist. Boston loves its credentials. So you're in the semi-covered area. Go up some steps. And there you are. This is the last little bit of it all. We just follow along. I see wind making wavelets on the waves. It's kind of interesting. And over there we have the fake Mayflower. Adjacent to a real bridge. once more through a covered area.
Oh god, there's that horrible fake colonial revolutionary fife noise that they pipe in 24-7. And with the ascent of this ramp, I've completed this particular excursion. I got that side of the street last year. There's our friend, the milk bottle.